entering this century, India hopes to change its reliance on foreign-supplied weapon systems and incorporate more domestically produced weapons. Among them, the thousands of Russian armored personnel carriers in service with the Indian Army are one of the main targets for replacement. India's future infantry combat vehicle program involves the purchase of approximately 2,600 armored vehicles. With India's mindset of not seeking the most advanced, but the most expensive, this cake can certainly make many people wealthy. However, India has decided to leave this cake to domestic companies. Currently, Tata Group's Red Hawk 8A-8 armored personnel carrier has the best chance of securing this contract. The Red Hawk Armored Personnel Carrier is a moderately designed vehicle that first appeared in 2014. It has undergone extensive testing, and the Indian Army has expressed its procurement requirements for certain armored vehicles in the past two years. If everything goes smoothly, the Red Hawk is expected to enter service in the next one to two years. The Red Hawk is equipped with a Cummins ISX 600 diesel engine with a variable geometry turbocharger capable of producing 600 horsepower. It also has a backup engine option with a rated power of around 450 horsepower, which is likely for lighter vehicle models. The vehicle features independent hydraulic suspension for each wheel, with all wheels equipped with a leakage protection function and anti-skid function to prevent damage and rupture of the wheels during operation. The armored vehicle has amphibious capabilities, relying on two water jet propellers located on the sides of the rear of the vehicle for propulsion in water, with foldable anti-splash plates at the front. The driver is located on the right side of the front of the vehicle, with the commander behind him. The driver's hatch on the roof is equipped with three independent periscopes, which need to be closed during water operations to observe the navigation conditions using the periscopes and prevent water from flowing into the vehicle. The rear compartment of the vehicle can accommodate 10 fully armed soldiers, sitting back to back. This arrangement allows for easy use of the six external firing ports on both sides of the vehicle. The soldiers can enter and exit through the top hatch or the rear ramp-style door. The seats are not installed on the compartment floor but suspended from the roof, reducing the impact of explosions in case of landmine encounters. The weapon system is modular in design, allowing for the installation of different types of manned, turrets or remote weapon stations, including small-caliber cannons, light-heavy machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, anti-tank missiles, etc. The Red Hawk also seems to be able to directly use the turret from the BMP-2 armored vehicle, which can save costs. The armor thickness of the Red Hawk is unknown, but judging from its weight of over 20 tons, the protection thickness is average. The vehicle is equipped with anti-collapse lining inside the compartment, and additional armor plates can be installed externally. The armored vehicle can withstand the impact of a 10-kilo landmine. The Red Hawk can also be equipped with three-proof equipment for operations in special environments. However, some Indian articles claim that the Red Hawk has intelligent stealth technology with certain radar, infrared, and sonar stealth capabilities. Tata Group's designers have achieved a reduction in vehicle noise and infrared radiation by limiting the engine. However, it is hard to believe the high claims made in the article just by looking at the appearance of the Red Hawk. Nevertheless, the Red Hawk does incorporate some innovative features, such as external cameras, for providing a broader field of view for the vehicle crew. Currently, the Red Hawk has obtained official production and sales approvals from India. However, it seems that the first batch of mass-produced armored vehicles has not yet entered service. Following the path of other domestically produced Indian equipment, the Red Hawk is likely suffering from serious delays. The exact date of service delivery will depend on fate, which is a characteristic of Made in India. However, from the current situation, the Red Hawk is a winner regardless. There is currently no competitive opponent in India, and the armored personnel carriers in the Indian Army are aging, so updating and iterating is only a matter of time. The weight of the Red Hawk armored vehicle ranges from 19 to 26 tons, depending on the configuration. The amphibious version weighs no more than 24 tons. 
It has a length of approximately 7.8 meters, a width of 2.95 meters, and a height of 2.28 meters. The maximum highway speed is 100 kilometers per hour, and the maximum water speed is 10 kilometers per hour.